Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost, and today we are going to implement starvation and also food. So as you can see, we have a health bar here, and we have a food meter here. And currently we're getting just a little bit peckish. So if we pick up the carrot, and if we right click the carrot, and there we go. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is add Sprite UI food, speed of zero, origin top left. Next up is UI heart. Next up is Sprite food carrot with the origin at the bottom center. Now, if we're going to object Rupert in the create event under stats, we need two more stats. We're going to have to say HP is 100 and starving, oops, starving is 100. Or maybe hunger actually, let's go with hunger, that's better. Hunger is 100. Next, if we go to object UI in the draw GUI event, at the top we're just going to draw the UI layer, uh, the, the UI sprite. So we'll say draw sprite, sprite UI hat at zero, zero, zero. So very top left. Then we're going to draw sprite UI food at the Y position 13. And then we're going to draw a health bar. Uh, the first one we're going to draw is the health and the position, the, the coordinates that I have here, these are just trial and error that I've just tested and they're just kind of where I want it to be. Uh, again, feel free to change this up. And there's the hunger bar. Um, the only change is the coordinates, as you can see, and the colour of the bar itself, which I've changed to colour green. Now back to Object Rupert. In the step event, we're just going to say... Um, hunger minus equals 0 0.001 the balance might change I don't know this is just a really slow hunger rate um, we'll just figure that out as we go next up we need to duplicate um, object loot rock and we're going to turn it into object food carrot in the create event we're going to delete the path max stack is going to equal 5 change the sprite and now create parent food um, so link parent food here Should change it to parent food but now on him on parent food we're gonna make the parent of parent food parent loot so we can still pick it up um, so that means when we look for things on the ground we don't have to specify parent food we can still just go with parent loot but when we right click something in the inventory which we're going to specify as parent food, we'll know that we can eat it. Back to object Rupert. Let's just create a test food. And there we go. So if we now go to script player inventory, at the bottom of this script, um, there is going to be something new. Now I've, I'm going to copy and paste this because it's a little bit tedious to type it all. But I will explain exactly what is going on. Okay, so right at the bottom, we're going to copy and paste this, and you'll find this in the description along with the sprites. So, what we're doing is we're looking for if uh, we've pressed the right mouse button. If no, if we're not, if we haven't currently left clicked anything in the inventory, so if UI inv selected is no long. And then again, we're just looking for which slot. I'm not going to go through this code again. I've done that multiple times now. So we're looking for which slot, and then we say if uh, if the parent is food, because this is the only item that we're going to be able to use from the inventory. Obviously with the um, equipment we can equip it with one, two, three, four, depending on where we put it on the hots on the um, the quick slots. But with um, with the inventory itself we only want to be able to right click food. Okay. So what we're doing, we're just saying object get parent from UI in like the inventory position. And if the parent is parent food, then we'll right click it, we'll say starving plus equal five. That's just I don't know you can change that, that's just the, the rate at which we... Oh, actually that should now be hunger, shouldn't it? Sorry, in my test one, I had it as starving. So, take starving and just replace it with hunger in all of them. And there we go. So yeah, as I was saying, it will... It checks to see if it's the parent food. If it is, hunger will plus five. Um, the UI inv number will just minus one. And then we'll say if the number of items in the slot is less than one, so if it's zero, then the UI position will just become no one. So that means there's no, there's nothing in that slot anymore. Okay, so let's just see if that worked. 
Okay, so as you can see, we have the health bar and the food bar, and it does seem that we are starving just a little bit. Let's see if we can pick this up. Yes, we can. So if we right click it, it should go full. Yes, it does. Okay, so smashing, that's all working. Right, so thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Hey, guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.